Hello everyone and welcome to the Dolly C10 official Steam Festival demo and I just can't wait to show you off guys what is Dolly C10 like and we've literally got three new rally locations, the WC cars, new stage designs pretty much, it's gonna be an absolute bonger, you're gonna be impressed by what they've achieved so far in this demo but you're also gonna be like there's so many flaws well remember this is a work in progress demo and hopefully all the flaws that we're gonna notice on this um, demo version of the WC 10 game will be fixed on the final release date in September but already as you can see we've got a brand new menu UI which I absolutely adore much better much more modern and hopefully it's not gonna cause uh, bugs which uh, console players used to have with the game pads but either way what we've got here as you can see the only available options is in the solo section as you can see we've got season mode anniversary mode with the legendary scenarios and the bonus section which is going to give us scenarios with all the rallies and when i mean all the rallies i mean like rallies like new zealand australia um you know you remember corsica so all these locations that i said are just missing from the game for no reason they're probably going to be here in the bonus section and as well for the anniversary mode is going to be the legendary scenarios which i'm really waiting for and i think i'm going to bring a whole new spark into the game for single player fun but for this demo what we've got here is the season mode which includes of three new locations the first one being croatia which is a tarmac rally the second one being estonia which is a gravel location and the third one being spain which you might be wondering it's not a new location but trust me it's got new stages and it's a brand new tarmac location fully tarmac this time around not mixed conditions of tarmac and gravel we're obviously going to be getting san remo and the acropolis rally as well but they're going to be coming into a next update after the game has been released and i just can't wait to drive around greece uh, they've already released a one mini trailer around greece and i just can't wait to drive around my home you know rally on the modern wc game i know we've had the rally 2.0 but seeing the abilities of the kilotom developers on stage designing uh, through the years it will be great to see what they're gonna make out of the greece location in terms of rally stages but either way firstly let's check the great stages obviously it's one of these locations has one stage and it's reversal so it's pretty much two stages per location and we're checking out firstly Croatia driving for Fiesta of Adrian Fomar. One thing I have noticed about Croatia I'm gonna try and bear resemblance to each of these locations if I can't that means they're probably brand new they have uh, their own character but one thing I would say about uh, Croatia is it really resembles um, it really bears resembles to the German rally, the German stages. I don't know if we're gonna have the German stages on this game as well, but if we do, then they're probably two very similar locations, which is not bad in my opinion. It's a very, very fast rally and more wide in in all the sense. It doesn't have a, a lot of tight corners. It has uh, plenty of high-speed corners instead, and the fairly wide open roads, as you can see there, going over the herb in there. And we've got a very, very wide road, which reminds me a, a lot of the German stages. Croatia, my first impressions were like, this is a very, very nice and fast stage. And it, it felt very good to just have a brand new tarmac location. Because, you know, the tarmac physics on this game are the one other thing that just put it in, in my opinion, one step ahead of any other rally scene. And having only like, uh, what, two locations, two tarmac locations? in this uh, game or three including Monte Carlo was a bit of um, a mistake from the developers because you need to show off like what the game has to offer and by adding these two new tarmac locations I think they've done just that to showcase the tarmac physics. Overly this stage uh, has some very very good graphics some very very good textures and all that I love, I love the rocks and everything that it has and one thing I really wanted to mention is the improvement in graphics I don't think it's an improvement in graphics but it's an improvement in the colorization what they've done with the colors is in my opinion very very important they've made everything look more realistic and giving me like a, a Dead Rally 1 sort of vibe which in my opinion is great i really like the graphics in Dead Rally 1 the colorization as i say and uh, they probably copied that a little bit into this game which made the trees the grass the rocks the sun everything look a little bit more realistic 
which is really put into the immersion of the game so that is something that is not going to change hopefully in the final release and I'm really really happy about that. Moving on to the next location you've got Estonia to be driving Hyundai i20 of Oil Titanic around his home rally obviously and what can I say about this location is it really is a similar location to Finland, an absolutely fast uh, stage where location, I should say, with blind corners, jumps, and everything that a rally driver pretty much fears off. It's got character, most of all, like it has uh, this little section, especially this stage, it has this little section, just like in real life, where you go through the super special stage, which is uh, fully tarmac. So it has a bit of a mixture of tarmac and gravel in some sense, but it's only like for this stage, if I'm not mistaken. And also it's got that little part where you just go through the the forest and it's got a different variation of gravel. It's absolutely great. Uh, in my opinion, it's got great variety and they've really copied not the old finish stages but the new finish stages. And that is something that everyone liked, the new finish stages and having an extra gravel location with uh, similar characteristics to those stages I think just makes the whole calendar and the whole rally selection even better for WC10. Moving now on to the final location for today is the Spanish rally. Um, I remember last year I said they literally added the super special stage of the Spanish rally as a DLC when the game first released and they didn't have any more of the Spanish stages. I have no idea why they did that but they honestly just didn't make sense just put the whole rally in and we would pay for that DLC if you ask me because it's a necro location it's got mixed conditions the only location that has got mixed conditions of tarmac and gravel and we literally had didn't have it they just removed it from the game for this year uh, the Spanish rally is coming back but it's fully tarmac and not a single pinch of gravel and the good thing about that is that they've got brand new stages uh, which remind me a lot of the Dare Rally stages but obviously they've done it better you literally enter the city section as you can see right there you take a very very tight right hander and then it's as narrow as it gets it tight it literally just about fits a rally car and I think that Spain has just become a location that you just don't see on any other rally game. It's just a one of a kind at this point. You can see literally driving on the edge around a very, very narrow road. And it's just, it's, I, it's mind blowing to see what they've literally created again. Because it's in terms of stage designing, you know, these might not be real life stages. These might not well and truly be real life stages. They might just have some resemblance in real life. But what they've literally created is out of mind. Like, I just can't believe the amount of uh, dedication and creativity you must have to literally create such stages. This stage is obviously more like the Japanese stages with a few, like, um tight corners but I think it's one of a kind it's honestly we don't have such a atomic rally on the calendar and I would say it really um, reminds me of uh, the Japanese location on V Rally 4 if you ask me um, purely because of these little sections with uh, the small little hairpins and the curbs and all that really remind me of that so they're taking a little bit of inspiration from the from their older games but now we gotta move into the negatives. What are the negatives for this game? Firstly, I had a lot of screen flickering, uh, which meant I had to re-record everything. Uh, hopefully that is not gonna be an issue ever in the final release game. And uh, I've also been disappointed by the sound design. Uh, they really were talking about new sounds. One positive is that I think it's in every single car has a different sound which is good but literally when you down sift you literally reduce speed it's like the engine is just stopped to walk like you don't have any sounds you don't have any pops you don't have absolutely anything which doesn't make sense into right four keep into left three opens short into right 3, into left 3, short, 80. Caution, left 1, 200. 
And I honestly think it's a part of the game which needs to be improved. Like you have to improve it. You can you've got the rights to the official cars. You can take the the literally official sound of the cars and put it into the game. Their Rally 2.0 is miles ahead in terms of the audio design and everything that they're doing with audio with the uh, older cars, with the modern cars, with absolutely everything. They're still updating up to this date their audio design. So I really hope by September when the game releases the audio, the engines and all that is going to be refreshed. What do I mean by refreshed is fix the downshifting issues. We literally have no engine sound when we reduce the speed and we downshift and also make it better make it better you can do it better it's better than what we had in my opinion when i was starting listening a little bit more to it accelerating and all that it sounds better but you need to make it even better i know you can just make it better and also fix the issues that we had when reducing speed these were the big flaws for me for the game in terms of uh, handling and all that and physics pretty much the same nothing really changed probably a little bit even smoother over the bumps but i can't really add up to that until I get the final game and get my real first impressions. But for the time being, it has been a very very good experience, obviously, yet again, Killer Tom on top of the game in terms of stage design with three new locations and two more coming up after the game has been released. So for now, this was the video for today guys, if you enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Twitter, join me in Discord server if you have any suggestions or you just want to chat about WC10 or anything else, and until next video boys, which is going to be F1 2020, and hopefully I can actually release it midweek despite my exams. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.